Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have yet another wonderful Buff Bunny collection review and this one is called the Boyfriend Collection. I'm gonna go ahead and pop down the colors right down here so you guys can see what colors are coming in but there is like a huge variety of different colors. Mostly it's neutrals and I honestly I think this is a little bit kind of like this should have been called the Naked Collection Part 2 because there's a lot of neutrals only some light pinks. There's light pinks, there's black pinstripe, there is a light green pistachio color, there's some heathered colors but mostly we have some neutrals some very soft muted neutrals however i did mostly stick to some just a little bit of neutrals and pinks and we do have of course blacks in this collection so we're gonna give everything a little bit of a try so i am sorry but i did not get anything from the threads uh collection i mean it's all in the same collection but i did not get anything in threads stick with me and we're gonna go through all of it this is quite a big ass collection <laughs> and bear with me we're gonna go through the details of everything and we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in i do want to mention as always i am not sponsored by buff bunny i have no affiliations with them or anyone from their team and therefore i can give you guys a real honest opinion so therefore i won't be able to give you guys a code or anything like that but i we'll be able to give you guys a good review a real review so let's go into the details okay and we have here the shape seamless sports bra this one comes in three colorways charcoal berry ice and chamomile i believe this is the chamomile it's the chamomile so this color is chamomile and this sports bra is in size medium so the popular details for this one is that it is polyester nylon and spandex seamless light medium support level we'll test that out it's a seamless edge v-neck strappy back removable bust pads short midline fit this one is made for strength training and yoga so this is what it looks like very simple little bra definitely v-neck but here's the catch it's kind of like a v-neck or v-back right back here too you can see it has that buff bunny logo right there you know this little design right here this kind of reminds me of a you're gonna think i'm weird it's like a superman crest it's a, it just it stands out it looks like a flag it stands out so much so you have this like nice decent tag is in the way this nice decent uh, band right down here the, everything all the way around it is just ribbed material but nice and soft this doesn't feel like it will be compressive but we're just gonna have to try it on and see the straps open up to double straps so it looks the same in the front as it is in the back you can see it wiggling yeah just opens up into a double but it's over the shoulder there's no crisscross here okay so this is the bra inside out and it looks like the ribbing that's on the outside is the same on the inside so I'll let you know when I have this on to see if it feels uncomfortable up against your skin because I've never really seen ribbing that's exactly the same in the exterior be the same in the interior kind of strange so we'll see how that all feels also the stitching on the back of this seems a little bulky looks like it stands out it might not feel bad but i'm thinking if you're laying down on a bench i don't know doing some uh, chest workouts or shoulders shoulder press or anything like that i'm wondering if that will make you feel uncomfortable in the back area let's go ahead and try this little bra on. okay guys and here we have this bra and right away what i can tell you is that this is not fitting uh for me very comfortably at all it feels kind of awkward it's very strange because buff bunny usually nails these sports bras but this one feels kind of strange to me so i feel very tight when it comes to my breasts themselves and also around these sides and the straps 
I feel like they are not long enough for me. So obviously all of us are different everywhere. So when it comes to the length of my shoulder to the bottom of my bust, we all have different lengths, different width. We're all different in our own way. But right now I feel like I'm not, I'm not great with the ratio, whatever it is that they did when it comes to the design of from the under bust uh, to the shoulders. I feel like there is not enough room for me to fit comfortably. Over time, this is definitely going to make an indentation on my shoulders. Never thought that I would say that from a buff bunny bra because usually when the bras cross over the neck that's where the problem is usually but in this case it feels like it's happening right away on my shoulders so not that great of a feeling also i feel very squished in i would probably say that i would try a size large when it comes to this bra and maybe that would relieve some of the tension that i have going on but it is definitely tight over here and it's even cutting into me on the sides so this is how it looks it is flattering i would will say that it has these beautiful straps they do look very nice very feminine a beautiful cut however you can see right away that i have cutting in going on on both of my sides right here giving me some major armpit fat it feels very tight over here on this section under my arms it's strange to concentrate on any other area when the one area that's causing me so much grief is right here and here the elastic right here on the sides is comfortable around my rib cage it is it's not cutting into me at all just the all, all the other places that i am so we'll do a little bit of a jump test here and because this is so tight on me right now i would say i'm getting a medium compression however if i were to size up i'm not sure what i could say about this it honestly it feels so tight that it almost the cup pad is like sticking out when the rest of the fabric is just caving in you see that that's totally unattractive right there it just it fits super strangely this side this is not happening so much but you can clearly see it's definitely cutting in okay and then let's go ahead and see the back so the back looks like this honestly i'm not really a fan of having that logo like that right there it does feel kind of uncomfortable i feel like this entire bra just needs to be let loose a little bit maybe it's because of the fact that it is ribbing and the ribbing is going all over the place so perhaps that's what's making it feel so compressive there's also one thing to to know that the same ribbing that's here is the same ribbing that's inside on your bust and all along your sides so if this bra is tight on you if you do size to your regular size i feel like that would be too small i feel like it will probably leave some marks on you because the ribbing even though it's large and spread out it is on the inside too which is kind of strange and not it's, it just doesn't seem very attractive to me at all okay and next up we have the ivy wrap so i'm really excited for this particular bra it looks fantastic it is basically if the ivy wrap sports bra or top crop top and the candy wrap bra which is one of my favorites had a baby this is what it would be the ivy wrap so this sports bra comes in a good variety of colors it comes in black white black pinstripe chai latte mocha berry and berry ice so this one is new bray fabric light to medium support crisscross back detail a square neckline adjustable straps and removable bust pads so this one's meant for strength training or yoga so the color that i chose is of course berry ice i really like this pink i'm not like a wild pink fan but i do like how this one is soft and muted i think it's beautiful and this one also is medium so just in case i I forget to mention later on all of my sports bras and all of my bottoms i did choose medium but i'll have that in the description and stuff like that for you down below starting with this beautiful bra as you can tell it's the crisscross of the candy wrap bra i don't know if you guys have ever seen the candy wrap bra but basically it is just this crisscross magnificent sports bra gives you a lot of support and boost and then we also have a bit of the 
ivy the ivy does have a crisscrossing in the back beautiful back exposed i have reviewed the ivy before i'll link it down below i believe i did it in the naked collection and i believe i did it in another collection too so you'll be able to see that i'll link it down below and stuff but yeah this is basically how it looks in the back it also has some adjustability right here which is excellent and then you have the little buff bunny logo i saw it just a minute ago here it is it's on this side right here but it's tonal and it's silicone so it feels nice it won't be bothering you obviously this is on the exterior of the bra so the front of the bra it's basically just it almost kind of gives me like a bit of a bralette feel yeah it does look very nice it is that soft newberry fabric it does have adjustable cup pads so you can take those out and i wouldn't say this is a long line bra or a short line bra this is definitely like mid length yeah it's very beautiful i'm very impressed by it when I saw it first time and I'm really excited to try this one out. So let's go try it on. Okay, so here we have the candy wrap bra. I did adjust it to my preference. It is a very beautiful bra, to be honest with you. Flattering here, I feel like the concentration on the flattering is not your boobs, it's themselves here. It is definitely this beautiful crisscross design right in the front of the bra. Your The attention right here is not your cleavage itself. It is the beauty of this bra or at least that's what i feel like the they intended on doing so this is how it looks a very beautiful simple bra it's almost a little bit squared off but not quite beautiful front the straps are very nice and thin very simple and then adjustable in the back as you can see the back has the crisscross of the ivy and then just basically simple straps simple coming down okay so nothing feels tight anywhere at all the only thing that i would say is just ever so slightly tight and of course because it has to be is this band right down here that goes all along your rib cage but i do not feel like over time that'll cut into me at all so i do know that there is really no cutting in on the sides very comfortable it's not cutting into me over here at all and it is like a very nice modest kind of look we'll go ahead and do a jump test I would say light to medium support mostly medium not really high because I do still feel like the bounce but very very nice and very very comfortable definitely true to size okay and now we have the ear knit bandeau and you already know i have low to zero expectations on this bandeau i just don't think that a bandeau should be really considered a sports bra or anything but just a bandeau just a top to wear i would wear it personally to go to the beach or a pool day and stuff like that in the summer nice and fresh and free but for the gym i probably would never wear this but i'm I'm gonna put away all of my expectations for a couple of minutes until we try this on let me read to you what is to be expected of this so this one comes in black chai latte and white only three colors so this one is the ear knit which is 82% nylon and 18% spandex it has one quarter elastic inner edge of neckline for higher support I'm glad they thought about this one inch elastic Plastic inner edge of hem to help support bust and removable cup pads are included embroidery logo this is meant for strength training and yoga I understand what they say so here it is plain and simple so this part is stitched together and it just it's basically just gonna sit like this okay so this is how it looks in the back i actually oh there's the logo the logo is right down there it is stitched but it's tonal and you can't really see it as a matter of fact i was like where even is it i, I can't see it so that's where it is let's turn this inside out so you guys can see what they are exactly talking about if i didn't mention this it is medium so this is what they mean by the 
added support. You see how it has this double stitching right down there? That would help for your under bust. So just to like to keep them up, right? And then the top is basically just a simple seam. I'm not really sure how the top, the, I don't think the top has anything special. It does have removable cup pads. You can clearly see them. And yeah, you can take them out right through there, through the sides. And there is no silicone anywhere on these bras. Some brands do like to put silicone. I do remember the Alpha Lee Aura Bando did have silicone, like a light bit of silicone, but it did not really stay. Enough talking about it. Let's just try it on and then we'll see what we can dissect from it. Right, and now we have this little bando. And to be honest with you, with all of the little uh, hints, the all of those little indications, as I read in the introduction, it gave me a lot of hope for this bando. However, once again, Again, like all bandos do it has failed and disappointed me just because they are not it is not strong enough I will say it does stay put I don't feel like I have to constantly be pulling up however I think I might have just I probably should have sized up to a large because I do feel like it's doing its best to keep me in place but it looks just too small and I fall very naturally because I don't have any augmented breasts or anything like that and of course a bando itself is not going to give you any support but I don't feel like this is an attractive look for me it just feels awkward i've had other bandos that are better than this not activewear related just regular bandos and i feel like this one is just not it's just not really cute a cute look for me i feel definitely that it's staying in place however it's just it just looks a little too, too tiny for me this is how it looks in the back this is how it looks in the back it is obviously just a bando so it's a very simple open back and black i did choose black because i thought it could be flattering but yeah i don't have anything spilling out from the bottom it's just that my the heaviness of my breasts are taking it all up and just not really looking it just doesn't really look right to me I don't know maybe it's just me but it just doesn't really look so right to me I do feel like if it just had a little bit more up here a little bit longer then it could look better but it just doesn't so that's just me guys that's how i am doesn't create any cutting and it's not really cutting into me down here but i do feel compressed i do feel the compression right along my breasts and along my rib cage i definitely feel like everything is held tight held in together so i'm not gonna give this a jump test guys because clearly this is light support take it from me it's light support but when it comes to sizing i would say size up possibly because I did go with a true size medium my true size medium and I feel like I should have done a large it's all up to you if you're okay with this amount of coverage then go for it but if you're a little bit heavier breasted then I would consider sizing up okay guys and here we have the girlfriend bra I'm gonna say bra because it says sports bra and this is not a sports bra so it comes with chai latte chamomile which is this one and it also comes with onyx black mineral wash so this is a reversible sports bra okay so the fabric is nubri and it is a nylon spandex mix light to medium support level oh my god strappy crisscross back design v neckline short lined reversible inside out no bus pads and it is designed for strength training and yoga definitely designed for strength training i will not do yoga with this because just bending down we could have a spill strength training as long as you're standing up maybe doing some triceps or you know some very simple exercise maybe even just lower body i would not bend down to pick up anything in this there's nothing to it there's literally nothing to it this has no adjustability okay it's a very simple back very difficult guys to show you how this looks in the back just like this you just have to see the try on portion of this it does have this crisscross back which is very cute it's the same issue that I always have why 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 don't they come with boss pads 
doesn't make sense. Why am I paying you guys 40 something dollars so that you cannot give me the bus pads, the, the bus pads, the bra pads, the cup pads, whatever you want to call it. So just take them out of whatever other sports bra you have. Assuming you have another sports bra, don't let this be your first sports bra because it doesn't come with cup, cup pads. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is a very simple, cute looking sports bra sports bra and it is very nice i love the color even though i am not a neutrals fan once again this is the naked collection part two and it is very nice and it is the new braid fabric so it's it's very soft this side is just as cute reversible so you have basically two bras in one i love it when they do stuff like this but to not bring me any cup pads that's just an atrocity in my opinion this is a size medium and I did not want to size up or down in this one at all. So let's go ahead and try this on so you guys can see how it fits. Okay guys, so this is the Girlfriend Sports Bra. It is just super, super booby. It is super booby. It is very out and about. It is like just very out there so i do have a regular size medium on i do recommend you stay to your true size with this one i would not have sized any larger but i would not have sized any smaller one thing to keep in mind with this bra is that it does not come with any cup pads and also it is reversible so you can turn it around and get a whole lighter color underneath i did go ahead and show you guys in the introduction of this part of this sports bra but i decided to keep it on this side so it could do a little matchy matchy with the leggings what can i say about this one it is super v not really a v but super plunge type of bra it does have some skinny straps right up here and I've been wearing it for a little while. It doesn't feel like it's cutting in at all, but I do feel like spilling out could definitely be an issue. I would definitely say light support here. I am not even going to jump that much. I'm just telling you right away, light support. Even if you size down, I feel like even if you're okay with compressing even more, you're definitely going to feel that it is a it's not really a bra to be doing any kind of heavy duty activities so this is how it looks it does not give me any side boob issues or any cutting in at the sides i'm sorry the microphone is such an eyesore and then this is how it looks in the back so like i said this bra is reversible so you can change it if you wanted to i think that the back looks very beautiful i love a nice strappy open back and it is comfortable i do not see it cutting into me anywhere so that is a good sign so there is no issue with how it looks in the back i do not feel like it is cutting into me it is not uncomfortable any wear at all my only problem with it is just it's a little bit too scooped for me but it does look very beautiful so if this is not an issue for you at all then this bra is totally for you very very comfortable i don't feel any spilling out from the bottom so that's great it does have a nice little seam right down here to keep you held in not cutting in at all there is just a little bit of cutting in right here in the front but nothing so crazy that i cannot handle and it my only issue with this bra is just where are the cup pads okay and moving on to the colorado crop so this one comes in black and mocha berry this one is a fleece lime polyester spandex blend this is light support it has a locking zipper pull a quarter zip with hook and eye closure removable bust pads cropped long line fit and it is for strength training and yoga so the first thing that comes to me when i see this is how incredibly large this hood is like look at this uh, all of that is a hood. I can't even capture it in the frame of my camera. All that is the hood. This hole that you see here, that's where the shoulders are. So all of this from here to here, can't even see it, <laughs> is the hood. The hood is ginormous. I think it's too much. I think it's overkill. Basically, the bra begins over here. It does have a nice 
line right here for a bit of a detail like an underboss detail and then once again they did like this stitch yeah it's just going inward so the zipper it does have their little buff bunny logo i'm gonna try to get it there I'll try to get it there that's what it looks like and then the zipper well we'll try it on but yeah you can pull it all the way down it does have a hook and eye closure so that's how it looks this is a size medium not sure if i said that the back looks like this it's difficult to show because of this gigantic hood i wonder how this would have looked without the hood like or maybe if they could have made it with a detachable hood that would have been cool but the, I feel like the hood is just overkill. So let's go ahead and try this one on. It's gonna be interesting. I have seen another bra similar to this one, but we'll talk more about that one later. So one thing I do wanna note is that it is fleece lined. Okay, yeah, so when they say fleece lined, the only thing that's really lined in fleece is this hood. It is fleece. But it is just the hood. Uh, the rest of the bra is like a regular kind of performance material. So I did find the logo. The logo is right on the left side in the bottom right there. Let's go ahead and try this one on. Okay, and then we have this little bra. And I just wanted to say, I didn't, I held back about talking about it in the introduction, but this gives me the vibe of a Petula bra that came out about a year ago. And I was definitely not interested in that one because it was just too, not my style. And then now Buff Bunny came out with this one just a year later. And I felt like I just, I needed to give it a try because it is definitely a style it just depends on whether you're into it or not but for me personally i'm just convinced that i'm not let's go ahead and talk about this so here is that hood and i just <laughs> this is how it looks hey guys welcome back to the channel <laughs> i can't deal with this hood i mean if it if they came out with two options, one with a hood and one without, that would have been great. Because I think that this bra looks really nice, but not with such a large hood. This is how it looks. I will say it does have this very nice zipper. You can bring it all the way down. Got to be careful here because it could get, it could get a little dangerous. And then if you wanted to, if you wanted to hook it, and then leave a little bit of open. That reminds me of that bra that they have. What's it called? The Heartbreaker? I'm not exactly sure, but you could definitely open up like this. It is not one of those zippers that locks once you bring it down. It is definitely a zipper that could move around. However, I'm not fully sure that it would. Like I have it here right now and i don't feel like it's slipping down but just be careful with it just keep that in mind so the bra itself it is padded it does have removable pads i feel like obviously a lot of full coverage right here this could even give me a high support doesn't cut into me on the armpits and it doesn't create any fat whatsoever there is one thing to note my bra my boobs basically end at this little area right here so this little contouring line fits exactly to where my bust ends so this is a medium if i would have sized down to a small and feel like it would still fit but it would definitely be a lot tighter so i would definitely say stay true to your regular size your true size this is true to size uh, I did notice that a lot of people have gaping here basically because this is a bonded edge so it doesn't really offer any support there is a seam down here and it goes all the way around actually causing a little bit of cutting in especially in the back area but when it gets to this little flag portion like what I keep calling it a flag I don't know it reminds me of that the support ends right there right at these seams because this part is just basically a folded bonded edge so this part has no compression so it just kind of sticks 
in the air. If you size up, that could be a mistake because you could have this be a little bit too large. I have seen some people talk about that. So just stay to your true size. If you're in between, I don't think you could size down. You could definitely size up because I'm in between a small and a medium myself. I mostly consider I am a medium now, but if I had sized up to a large, this would definitely be an issue. So if in between, if in between, size up. So let's go on and talk about the back. I'll pick up the hood here. I'll even put it on for you guys again. And this is how it looks. So it is not cutting into me in the back at all. I feel like this is such a flattering bra. I feel like this top is so nice and sleek. It has that razor back detail. It just does not deserve a hood, such a large hood to make it look so awful. <laughs> I do not like the hood at all. I just wish it just didn't come with it at all. Then this area down here is cutting into me. Not so much, but it is definitely obvious to me I feel it cut in it's comfortable it's sleek it is definitely a performance material you can take out the cup pads it's very versatile but the hood just turns me off to it okay and now we have the air knit bolero shrug so I did want to try this one on because I do have the other shrug I did keep two of those a white one and a black one and I just kind of wanted to to kind of compare what this one feels like in comparison to the other one so this one comes in black chai latte and white it is air knit fabric so 82 percent nylon and 18 percent spandex it does feature thumb holes a cropped fit and a silver coin logo and this one is designed for lifestyle obviously since it's not a sports bra or a legging it has to be for lifestyle there's no really there's no point to any of this at all except for fashion fitness fashion duh and so this one just looks like this it'll be difficult to show you guys since it is black once it's on it'll look better but it basically has i feel like it has the same length from the neckline to the bottom as the other bolero shrug our regular bolero shrug i can't remember the exact name of that one but i did review that one and if you want to see that one i'll find i'll link that video down below and i'll put a card up here so you guys can see that one if you're interested but this one is very similar it just doesn't doesn't have a neckline it's not like a t-shirt where you just pop it on this is more like a jacket you put it on and however it falls that's how it falls there's really no coverage in the front of your body so the coin logo is right back there it looks very nice and simple it is very nice and simple long sleeves it does have the thumb holes that they were talking about I like these because buff bunny tends to understand that some of us have longer limbs and I do like to use my thumb holes but most of the time brands do not make these kinds of garments that actually fit me I guess I have long arms and they don't always fit me without visibly seeing some wreckage happening at the seams so I do like that buff bunny does make it a little bit longer or at least a little bit stretchier there's not much to say about this one just let's Let's try it on and you guys can see how it looks okay so now we have this little bolero and to be honest with you I am not really liking it as much as the original it just kind of sits like at a strange I'm not sure if it's the bandeau that's just throwing me off but it's sitting in a strange position I'm really liking the other one the original one the one that you wore with like with a collar just because this one just seems kind of odd it just covers your shoulders and then this is how it looks on the back it does give you a little bit of room between say the bottom of this bolero and like the top of the bra if you had like a long line bra it would obviously provide much more coverage but not from the bolero itself so I do feel like these are not as stretchy as the other ones right now I feel like I'm putting a lot of tension right here on this little area right here between the thumb and the rest of the hand it is just stretching out to infinity I have it fully stretched out so I feel like the other bolero shrug is much better when it comes to this this one is feeling just a little bit too not as stretchy not too much of anything just not as stretchy I would not size up or down I did go with a medium and I don't feel like if I had sized up to a large that this situation could be remedied 
it's just basically not as stretchy as the ones prior so I definitely like the ones prior than this one but this one just gives a little bit more exposure if that's something that you are looking for then basically this is the perfect bolero for you but personally I like the other one more just because I felt like it gives more coverage along my neck area and whatnot but also because of this situation if you did wear it like this then it will be perfectly fine it goes right up to covering completely my wrist it almost just starts at my hand right there but if I have thumb holes why not use them so this bolero is kind of not my favorite one otherwise it is very comfy it does provide a little bit of coverage for your shoulders and it is nice okay and now we have the rosa boot cut so this one comes black chai latte and black pinstripe so this specific one is black pinstripe this is a size medium i decided to get it in this pinstripe color because i thought it was interesting and i, I just figured let's just go ahead and give it a chance so this is the newberry fabric it does come in three lengths which i'm really liking i'm very thankful that buff bunny is kind of covering for you know short girls tall girls and regular size girls everywhere as well as the awesome sizing for extra extra small to extra extra large it's just fantastic i'm really happy to be seeing that they're getting so inclusive for everyone because it's a brand they make nice stuff everyone should have it so tall girls short girls big girls skinny girls you're all covered i did get the tall option i am five seven and a half so i do feel more comfortable with the tall option than the regular option so for me this is 33 inches in from the inseam so from the gusset to the end but they do have short which is 29 inches and they also have regular which is 31 it is light to medium compression which we will test and ultra high rise no front seam and a slit at the inside hem so it makes it ever so slightly flared and this one is designed for lifestyle so I even thought to myself for those of you who have like an office job and you want to do like a pinstripe kind of flared but open wide I thought this would be so fantastic for that and even though I don't personally have an office job I feel like this would be a great option for anyone that does or any kind of formal event I really see this getting dressed up very nice very pretty I don't really necessarily see it as a legging or a legging that you could use to work out in you could but I wouldn't see myself going to this kind of legging to work out it is essentially a rosa legging if you guys have seen the rosa legging i have reviewed rosa leggings before i'll link it down in the description box below also but it is essentially the same thing only minorly flared you can tell there is no front seam at all and this beautiful pinstripe is just i i really like it some people don't like it it's not their jam i understand but i i really like it the buff bunny logo is there so that could kind of be a problem to if you wanted to dress it up possibly with a crop you will see that buff bunny logo but if it doesn't bother you then just forget about it it does have the glute seams the v seams it is just a really really long legging let me get you to the flared area so this is how flared it is barely any flare at all but because it is slit so you can tell that the interior is this nice gray color it would have been i think it would have been a little bit better to make at least this slit pinstripe same as the exterior so that way that when it sits on your feet if you do expose a little bit of this flap right here it won't look like just a gray color it would look better i think in my opinion with pinstripes inside maybe i should work for the design team or maybe not so we'll see how it looks like when I have it on. So let's just go ahead and try it on because I'm anxious to see how this one looks. Okay, and here we have these beautiful pinstripe rosa leggings. So these are nice and high-waisted, which is one of my favorite things. There is no top seam on the top or front seam at all anywhere. So very, very simple. This is one of my favorite leggings, the rosa leggings. They're just super simple, super plain, super straight to the point. So here is my belly button all the way down here. This is basically where it's sitting. So it 
is a nice high rise. Not much snatching, but very comfortable. So the compression on the waistband is nice and stretchy. You have plenty of room to work with if you have a little bit of a bloat or anything like that going on. Bending over, you do not have any gaping. Also, I do like that it's such a high rise that it stays up all the way. Definitely high rise is my thing. So yeah, no gaping. There is no extra fabric. I know this is difficult to see because it is black. The pinstripes don't really do that much. I don't think you really see them that well if you're far off, but if you, if I look down I can definitely see them so we're gonna go ahead and test these out with stretch over here I do feel just ever so slightly a little bit of compression by the knee area but not so much nothing crazy I do feel like these are a true size medium I would not have sized up to a large or down to a small at all these feel definitely like my true size medium okay and this is how it looks on the back it has this nice v seam always Rosa has the nice V seam. I'm not sure if you can see it really that well. I'm not sure. I hope you guys can see it. So it does definitely have that V seam and it does not pancake or flatten you in any way. It just keeps you nice and normal. You can definitely see your glutes. One of the great things about black leggings, even if they're pinstripe or not, is that they will definitely do a good job in hiding your cellulite. And cellulite friendliness, I would say medium to high here because of the black. The pinstripe also helps, but mostly because because it's black. The Rosa leggings are always no brain material, so they definitely feel nice and soft and brushed. So just be careful with any pets and dander. Anything that's brushed will always definitely attract pet hair. We're gonna go ahead and do a camel toe test here. So bear with me, black might be a little bit difficult. So we're just gonna open and close. Okay, I will put a score down there, but I will definitely tell you that these are good on camel toe. I do not feel any invasion or anything happening like that at all. So we're gonna go ahead and do a squat test here. So with these leggings being black, I don't think that you'll be seeing that much. Okay, and so the part that at least I've been wanting to talk about is this open split seam. So for some reason, I kind of thought that the split was gonna be on the opposite side, so the exterior of your foot, but it's not, it's the interior. I am not wearing these with shoes, but if I had to wear them with shoes, I would probably try like a boot or a heel because they definitely feel, the pinstripes just give it like a more professional, more formal feel. So I I do like them. They are tall. For me, 33 inches is a good length. I would definitely, if you're 5'7", like myself, I'm 5'7 and a half. It's all up to your preference, but I feel like the 33, the tall option, was definitely the best for me. I do feel like if I had gone with a regular, I would have been unhappy because they would have been too short. But I'm not wearing any shoes right now, so I feel like they're looking just right to me, but they're definitely very beautiful and comfortable. And yeah, so that's just how they look. Okay guys, and here we have the girlfriend legging. And this one is in chai latte, but also comes in black. This is the Newberry fabric. 26 inches for a full length legging, light to medium compression, high rise, full cross wrap with elastic, no front rise, and it is designed for cardio. So the one thing that I will mention is that this doesn't feel like Newberry to me. I've already had this one on and it just, it feels so thin that I confused it with butter material but it is definitely nice and soft stretchy this is the cross front that they're talking about so this part over here does have a top seam you see it right there that's the top seam but it is stretchy and then the back does not have the seam so it's only for the front it does have that nice buff bunny logo very simple very small almost undetectable one of the things I love and the front does not have a seam they are all 
always seamless leggings so that's wonderful this is a true size medium and it just feels so very light in your hands definitely very stretchy as you know a regular new braid material does have i really like these i'm so tempted to keep them but um we shall see how they fit once we have them on but they are such a light material it's just it's it's almost not there let's go ahead and try those on okay and this is the girlfriend legging in chai latte so i have to say even though i'm not a fan of these super neutral colors i feel like this one is very beautiful it has such a nice well coffee color that's i guess that's why they named it chai latte it does have a nice very light coffee color we do have this the very first thing i want to mention is this crisscross detail right here in the front this legging does have a seam right up here in the front however it does not continue in the back so in the back it's just like a regular legging the top seam is from the middle all the way to this other side it is not compressive it is not cutting me in i feel very comfortable i'm not super snatched i'm very comfy so the waistband height is a high rise but not a ultra high rise as you can see my belly button is right here and the legging is not really that far down i feel like if anything it's more like a mid almost more like a mid rise than a high rise but it definitely fits into high rise okay so the waistband is stretchy since I already mentioned that it does have this this front seam, it does not interrupt the stretch of the legging waistband at all. Okay, so there is no real waistband gaping. I do notice that since this is not such a high rise, almost more of a mid rise, I do feel like it's a little bit lower than what I'm usually used to. There is no gaping back here at all. It feels fine. I don't feel like it's gonna roll. So it doesn't feel like there's any extra fabric here. It feels nice nice and comfortable everything feels put together the stretch as i pull my legs up is totally fine there is no issue there very stretchy the sizing feels true to size i am wearing my true size medium i do not feel like i should have sized up or down this feels completely true to size so there is no contouring or anything like that on these leggings which i do love that they are just very simple very plain okay and this is what the back looks like there is no hidden scrunch or anything like that for these leggings they are just a simple v very similar to this is giving me like rosa leggings only the rosa leggings are a true high rise or more like an ultra high rise rather than these that are just regular but it basically fits the same as a rosa so it does have those glute seams that are flattering and they do look very nice very flattering so they do not squish you down in any way when it comes to cellulite this is very touch and go i like to say that because it's like you might not see it right now even though i have lights on me there is definitely cellulite and you can see it it just depends on what lighting you're on but cellulite it can show in these kinds of leggings so just beware be advised it's a possibility when i first tried these on i thought honestly that they were the butter fabric and it turns out they're not they are just the regular nubre and that just surprised me because they feel softer than usual but they're very nice very comfortable very brushed one thing i will say is that as i was doing the introductions and stuff like that and putting stuff on top of my legs on my lap i would notice that there was a significant amount of lint getting stuck to these so just beware of that there will be lint sticking to these if you have pets you might have some dander some some pet fur staying behind lingering on your leggings keep that in mind because they are brushed leggings okay so we are gonna do a little camel toe test here so i'm just gonna open my legs and close And I'll go ahead and put a score right down there for you guys to see. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the squat test. Okay. 
And so the length for these are a full 26 inches, either 25 or 26 inches. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember quite just yet, but 25 or 26. So they are like a seven eighths length. They do come up pretty long, almost to my ankle and they are stretching material. So I'm sure you can bring them down further, but not so bad. It does have that one seam from the gusset all the way down, but nothing on the exterior as you can see. And next up we have the legging that I am most excited about. And yes, I am excited about this one. I'm actually, I haven't worn it. This is totally a first impressions for everything that I wear today, but I am expecting to want to keep this one specific legging. This is the Colorado pocket legging. I'll tell you why in exactly one minute. So this one is available in Onyx Black and Mocha Berry. I decided to get it in black just to make everything match with the black, of course. It is face lined polyester and spandex mix. It is inseam is 26 inches considered a full length legging. It is light to medium compression. It is high rise V front waistband, glute contour back waistband, side pockets, no front seam, and it has a stirrup detail. This one is designed for cardio. So stirrup detail. I have never ever in my life tried a legging with a stirrup detail before. I am actually actually kind of excited to see how this all works. I swear to you, even when I danced, I used to do dance and I never had any stirrup leggings or anything like that. I've never had the opportunity to try something like this on. So I am very excited. I like to try on new things. The reason that I expect to want to keep this legging is because it is fleece lined. I have been on the search for fleece lined leggings for years now. If you guys don't know, I am from South Florida. We get no winter here. Very rarely we get some cool days. As a matter of fact, all this winter, it's just been 50 degrees. That's the lowest of the lows. And usually my boyfriend and I, we will take at least one w nice winter vacation where this kind of legging would definitely be recommended. I always want to wear leggings. I never want to wear jeans or anything else. I always want to be in leggings, but I've never really found the right legging to wear wear for that kind of weather and I have bought I believe the brand on Amazon that I bought was called Belief and they were pretty good but they didn't really last long and the fleece interior was not that great and so I've always just wondered if Buff Bunny or Petula or Alpha Leader or somebody that I really really like somebody could come up with a really good fleece line legging that would just be fantastic and it looks like Buff Bunny has done it they came up with this completely fleece interior lined legging and I think it looks fabulous. I love the fact that they added pockets. It just looks amazing and I expect to be keeping this one but I'm not gonna cry victory just yet we still have to try it on so let's go ahead and analyze this one this is what the front looks like as you can tell it does taper in a little bit we have these two seams that come straight down now I've always been a minimalist if you guys have seen my videos before you'll have known that I mention it in every single video minimalist all the way so all these seams it already it throws me off but I know Know that they're there because they need to support these pockets so as long as there's pockets involved I'm okay I can ignore the seams however if there's seams everywhere for no purpose I that totally throws me off and I don't like it so these seams are pretty cool they do have a bonded edge so they'll be nice and soft to put your hands inside of and it's the same way on both sides as you can tell it's just very simple very plain did this come in another color I kind of regret not having gotten that color too too, but maybe I'll go back who knows this is what the back looks like and we do have that buff bunny logo in silicone but it is nice and just hidden 
it's just camouflaged because it's tonal. The back looks like this. It does have the B seams. This is what the fleece on the interior looks like. And it just looks pretty simple all the way down to the end where we have the stirrups. So enough talking and let's get rolling. And I don't know if I mentioned already, but this is a size medium. So let's go ahead and try these on. Okay, and here we have the Colorado legging. And I will just start off with saying that this is a high rise. There is a top seam here and it goes all the way along, all the way around front and back. So if you're not into top seams, be wary of that, but it's not really cutting into me so much. You can see there is a little bit of a cut of a line there where my skin is folding into the pants, but it is not so bad, it is not so compressive. It feels okay compressive. I'd say the compression is medium. My belly button is right here, basically here. So it does fit into a high rise, but not super high rise. So one more thing about the top seam is that it is cinching me in just because of that top seam. So when it comes to stretch, there is stretch there and it feels fine. There is a good amount of stretch. It's not exceptionally stretchy, but there is stretch. Okay, so when bending over, I do not feel it rolling down or it gaping at all, but also that is helped with uh, this top seam that goes even around the back. So that top seam is definitely going to help you to stay put and stay in place. There is no extra material. I feel like this legging has done a good job in covering pretty much everywhere. I wish I had gotten this in another color so you guys can see it a little bit better, but I hope you guys still can. It is just super comfortable. The fabric is a nice, soft, sleek fabric. So definitely something that you could go running in if you wanted to keep in mind these are lined with fleece so they will definitely be keeping you nice and warm we're gonna go ahead and test the stretchiness of them i feel like they are very stretchy the most minimal compression right along the knee area on both sides but nothing crazy so this legging does have pockets i'm gonna test out my phone i do have an iphone 15 pro but not the max so as i put it in it fits perfectly fine i'm sure i can even stick it down even lower and it is totally undetectable so definitely a very nice pocket so the back looks like this it does have the v seams however these specific v seams seem to be cutting into my glutes ever so slightly they're not causing me to flatten out any more than i'm already flat but they are ever so slightly cutting into what i would consider is already the top of my glutes so i would definitely keep that in mind if anything you might need to pull them up but keep also in mind that these are the stirrup ones and right now i have them connected to the bottom of my foot when it comes to cellulite, these leggings, remember, are double lined. So they are a very thick legging. They do have, the interior is lined with fleece. The exterior is a soft performance material. However, even the thickest leggings can sometimes show cellulite. Keep that in mind, these are black, but even black leggings could show cellulite. So I'd say it's 50-50. I can't really see it right on me right now, but like I always say it all depends on your scenario whether you have a lot of lighting or depending on whether you have cellulite or not also where your what your atmosphere looks like the fact that it's a black thick material could definitely be beneficial to you so we're gonna do a little bit of a camel test bear with me i know these are black i'm gonna have a little uh, score in the bottom so you guys can see what i would score as so we're just gonna open and close And I don't really see so much camel toe. I definitely don't feel anything trying to intrude. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do a squat test.
Okay, and this is the part that I've been most waiting for. So these are the stirrups. So when I first tried these on, I really had to fight to bring the fabric up because I heard the seams popping and that really worried me. I thought everything was going to break apart. So, but I kept going because I thought, well, if they're stirrups, they're supposed to, maybe I'm just hearing the stitches open up just because this is the first time it finally comes on a person. So I do really like the feel of them. They definitely feel warm i just can't put them to the test in cold weather because living in florida there is no cold weather that's totally absent so i'm sorry about that but fleece lined i feel like they would do good and they are a true authentic fleece it's really there so this is how it looks with the stirrups on and then you can always choose not to have that and basically you just pull up the fabric make it move along a little bit and this is how it looks without the stirrup basically making it a full a full length legging just you know you have to deal with a little bit of that right down there but you know say you wore boots or something like that you wouldn't be able to see that you know some high ankled boots or something so for this being my first stirrup legging I am kind of impressed I've never worn this before it feels comfortable even though I have socks but I do like them and I'm very impressed by them And here we have the Dream Heathered Bodysuit. So this one comes in two colorways. It comes in this black and one chamomile, which I will say I regret not having gotten the chamomile. I decided to get this one and I'm just really disappointed in myself for not having gotten the chamomile because I'm seeing that color everywhere and it just looks so beautiful. But anyway, so this is the fabric of the Dream Heather Recycled Polyester and Spandex Blend. It is a medium support level inseam length is five inches it has removable bust pads a sweetheart neckline curve accentuating details and it is designed for strength training and yoga so size medium for you okay we definitely see that sweetheart neckline which i absolutely love this is how it looks it basically does this v right here in the front so this is where you know well obviously this is where your lower tummy will sit let's see how that well, how well that is on compression and then five inch shorts would have been a little bit better if it had been six inches but and then the back looks like this so this strap right here is meant for you know the whole thing not to be blown outward it's just gonna keep everything together and very difficult to show you here guys <laughs> We have this V right down here and the Buff Bunny logo right there. Nice and tonal, but it's there. It's not tonal, it's black, but you can't really see it all that well because it does kind of hide very well with this bodysuit. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm anticipating good and bad. The last bodysuit that I tried on from Buff Bunny, it totally just devastated me to have to return it and then i had really high hopes for that one because the one that came before that one which was the ivy bodysuit that one was just excellent five stars 100 percent a plus 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 it was the chef's kiss i'm in the middle I don't know what to expect. I'm just in the middle. Let's go ahead and try this one on and I'll give you all the details I can find. Why hasn't anyone said how small this actually fits? I have to breathe because not only did I fight to put this on, but I'm also fighting from having a heart attack because I just pulled it up little by little, hearing all kinds of cracking and just fearing that this thing was going to explode. Wow. Okay, this runs small. No, we're not, we're not even gonna sugar it. This runs small. This is the second time Buff Bunny is disappointing me. Where are my cup pads? They went all the way up because they're expecting a very small person and what they got was me. 
As I was putting them on, I had to stop and check the sizing. The sizing is medium. I'm a medium. I was a medium in the last one. I was a medium, whatever that last one was called. I can't remember. I, I Honestly, I think I blocked that one out. This is like extreme disappointment. Um, I'm a medium in the Ivy one from the Naked collection. Every other jumpsuit or bodysuit that I've ever worn has been a medium because I'm not quite small. Buying a bodysuit is already difficult because you're not exactly quite sure what to get. Maybe you have large breasts but a smaller more petite lower body or maybe you have a larger lower body but a smaller more petite bust. You know we're not all created perfectly equal. We all have our different bits and pieces and are some slightly larger than others and that's fine. That is natural. It is beautiful. However, when it comes to buying stuff like that, we're not Barbies and maybe we need a little bit more room up here and a little bit more room down there. This bodysuit has a major sizing issue, guys. This is fitting me like an extra extra small from pulling it up over my knees i have been hearing the creaking i did get a size medium this is a size medium why is it fitting me so badly maybe i should have sized large uh, because this is after all very compressive material this is that heathered dream heathered material that i did review in the last uh, collection of theirs the genesis i'll link that one down in the description box too if you guys want to see what that one's like but this is a very compressive material because it is thicker heathered but also thicker i would definitely size up it is not true to size i'm not gonna lie to you it is not true to size i'm telling you the truth from my point of view this is not a size medium i'm cramped into an extra small here so the sweetheart line is super appealing i love the way it looks the top does give a nice full coverage but the straps are weighing down on my shoulder shoulders most certainly starting to cut in as you can see there's a little bit of redness there but it is definitely cutting in the straps are stretchy but seeing as how i'm not in my right size they are probably at the seams like just waiting to pop on me so that's a no it is cutting into me right here along my armpit and creating slight armpit fat not so much but some okay so there is no line where my breast should be finishing but inside there is a bit of a bra it's not really a shelf lining it's one of those similar to the ivy bodysuit the one that is it's in there it's just not separated so right now it ends right here if this were an average sports bra i would be able to show you that it is definitely cutting into my breast underneath so it's showing me that it is not long enough it is not fitting correctly okay so we're continuing with the midsection here so this is how the midsection feels i can as i look down i see that this v seam that is i feel like they adopted the v seam from the glutes they put it right in the front and therefore that v seam is right here since the sizing is so off for me i feel like it looks makes me look just ridiculous it, it's just it looks super strange everything is just super stretched out far beyond its normal point like so it just doesn't look right so that v is if this were of more regular size medium and i had more room i'm sure it would look better but right now it's not looking very appealing at all and then when it comes to the material being stretchy i can't really say yes or no i feel like it could be this is just like the dream heathered this is essentially the dream heathered but bodysuit and i just feel like it could definitely be stretchy but since i don't have so much i am fully stretched out right now so take that as a hint that it could be okay okay on the sides here we do have the seam that continues to go all the way down and it is a six inch short so it is almost biker but not quite it does cut in a little bit at my thighs of course because of sizing and so i feel like rolling up will definitely happen you just can't anticipate these things happening sometimes they just happen all right let's move on to the back now so this is how it looks on the back 
I have to say, I do feel more comfortable with this seam more than the one on the last bodysuit. The one on the last bodysuit came a little bit too low and definitely caused some worry for anyone to see your panty lines. If you wore panties with them, if you need to wear panties with them like I do, you definitely had a little bit of a danger zone with that. It is a shame that this is not the right size. Who knows, maybe I'll return it and get the right size. Uh, but I really wish this would have worked because it does look appealing and I would definitely use this. So this is how the back looks on the top. Right now I can just tell you that all of this is stretched out to the max, okay? This strap, where is it? This strap in the middle, it doesn't feel quite so tight but it is definitely cutting in because of sizing once again. And then this part is all stretched to the maximum. It is kind of giving me a wedgie. I, I'm sure that this short does not have a built-in scrunch or anything like that. Mostly, I feel like it's just happening because of sizing. It's just a shame because this looks like it could have been a very, very nice bodysuit. I hope that I can return it and get a size large because I feel like this is definitely a cute bodysuit. I'm gonna go ahead and test it just to see if they do roll up. I don't think they have ever so slightly, but they do feel a little tight around the thigh section. It is a shame because I am really in love with it. The one thing I feel like this could have done with, seeing as how they already had this seam going on here, they could have definitely attached some pockets and it would have been even better. But I guess not everything can have pockets. Even though this is crazy to think about right now, I still am gonna go ahead and give it the tests that we usually put the, these things to test to. So camel toe being first, here we go. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do a squat test. I'm surprised you couldn't hear any cracking or anything like that. <laughs> Okay guys, and then here we have the Finder Long Sleeve Tee. And this is the only thing from loungewear or non-active wear that I did pick up, the only thing. So this is, it is the color Rose Blush, but it also comes in the color Bone. And this one is 100% cotton. It is a classic tee fit, long sleeved and designed for lifestyle. So very, very simple tee. I personally love it. This is much softer than the other long sleeve tee that they have had in the past. For some reason, they are both cotton, so they should feel the same, but I feel like they, maybe they went with a different manufacturer or different something, and it is definitely a different kind of cotton. It feels much softer and even lighter, so I can't wait to actually wash this because that's when you can see how wrinkle-proof they actually are. I hate having wrinkles on my clothes, and I'm not one to iron, so I'll just steam the crap out of stuff. So Oh, yeah, I hate, for that reason, I hate cotton anything, cotton t-shirts, cotton anything. So this is how it looks in the back. It tells you find something worth finding. And when it comes to this collection, it's the boyfriend collection. That all makes sense. You should be finding a boyfriend or a girlfriend worth finding, find something worth finding. So I feel like that's a good message to send to the world. This is a size small and it is in oversized tee. So you're going to get a lot of extra, you know, it's a, it's a large, large oversized shirt. So size small, I'm not into the super, super oversized. So size small is perfect for me. There is one little thing that I just wanted to mention, which is the Buff Bunny logo on the left top 
wrist area. It does have a regular cuff, but this logo is nice and tonal, so you can't even notice it at all, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and try it on. I do want to mention this is a full length oversized tee. No crop anything in this one. So let's try it on. All right, guys. <sighs> Okay, and this is the Finder Long Sleeve Tee. So this tee is just pretty simple, just a nice long cotton t-shirt, long sleeves, just basically oversized. This is a size small. I didn't go any larger because I'm not a fan of the super, super oversized fit. I actually like things to be a little bit more fitted. So I do feel like even though I got a size small, I feel like it's just oversized enough for me. I do see that the sleeves are like nice and just long and oversized if this is your thing this is one of the nicer ones i do feel like this is even though they do say that this is cotton it feels like softer and more lightweight than the other long sleeve tees that buff bunny has come out with so I do think that that's a plus and I really hope that they continue with this material more than the other one but this one feels a lot softer and a lot more lightweight so this is how it looks in the back and as you can see it has that graphic written so the graphic says find something worth finding I felt like this shirt was inadvertently made for lovers perhaps I since it is the boyfriend collection I feel like it was basically meant to be giving out a message of finding a boyfriend, finding a husband, finding a life partner, finding someone that's worth actually finding and keeping. So I felt like that's very nice. It's a nice message. So also I did want to mention as I did in the introduction of this one that it does have this nice Buff Bunny collection right on the sleeve. It reminded me a little bit of the Cloud uh, long sleeve hoodie and some of their others that they do put this little logo on there very comfortable very lightweight i definitely think that this is true to size but just keep in mind it is an oversized tee so if you want to go bigger i am about almost 150 pounds right now so and i am five seven and a half so i am tall and this is what a small looks on me so if you guys want this one huh and you want it larger just consider it is all already an oversized tee so just just keep that in mind all right guys so that pretty much concludes this little video so i did want to talk real quickly about all the things that i did not get i did not get anything from the threads collection so when it comes to their um loungewear all of that i did not get it because i just figured that for this launch we would just stick to the true active wear there are some things that came back that i have already reviewed the legacy legging has already been reviewed the boyfriend button up that's not me i'm not into wearing those huge shirts i'm not even worried you into wearing college shirts so that that was just a cool girl crop it seems very cute but i don't need yet another crop i did i did decide not to get that one one thing i did want to get but did not get and i do regret is the colorado zip jacket i really wish i would have gotten that one i will link what i have reviewed it in down in the description box below there are some things that did not make it i believe everything from the waffle was according to them not up to standard so they did not release any of that stuff at all so uh it is a shame because i did want to try those waffle knit leggings and their bra i believe but they did not make it they, they didn't make the cut so i guess we'll just have to wait for them to fix it up and in the future they'll go ahead and release it and we can try it on here on this channel stay tuned so they also did release the bbl legging the bbl seamless they did release it in blackberry ice and chamomile i have already done this one but it would have been really nice to see it in berry ice because it looks really nice in the model pictures the revolution sports bra has already been reviewed the dream heathered sports bra of course already reviewed the legacy six inch shorts reviewed uh there is one short here that did not 
make the cut the hot girl run short not really that big into the little flowy shorts if you guys want me to do more flowy shorts in the future please leave a comment down below and i'll try to implement it into the next drop that they have if they have any more flowy shorts but i'm not really that into flowy shorts and then they just had a bunch of accessories they had another three pack of socks in two different styles they had a new hair claw i can't use it my hair is way too thin it'll never stay sorry dad hats they had a whole bunch of things that came out this collection and i'm really happy about that because i love seeing huge collections i love having so many options and so many reasons to be broke uh but yeah so we're just gonna get down to the bottom line here this collection was really nice however i do feel like once again this was like naked part two only with some light pinks and some pinstripes and maybe some like pistachio color i did not get anything in the pistachio color because it is just a green that is too light even though my favorite color is green that color is just too light and the first thing i think of is a squat test and i'm not gonna expose myself to that no thank you creepers get off yeah i know that you ladies maybe some of you do want the pistachio color enter at your own risk but i think i prefer to stay to the safer side and not because then we just do have too many creepers lurking around i'm watching you this is a woman channel okay keep moving anyway and i really want to say i did enjoy this collection it is very nice one of my favorite things is what i'm wearing right now i love these types of soft shirts they're just my vibe gotta give it up to buff bunny for that and yeah it just there's things that did disappoint me the bodysuit was the biggest disappointment of them all like what in the world were they thinking i'm i'm absolutely flabbergasted this bodysuit was fantastic it's beautiful i'm wearing it right now under the shirt and i'm aching in it because it is just so tight the sizing is so 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 off girl, girl this little girlfriend sports bra yeah this is not doing it for me especially without cup pads feeling just so disappointed at least send me the cup pads because i feel like that's worth the value and if i decide not to put them on then okay cool i won't put them on but at least send me the cup pads anyway and and, and let me at least have the choice to whether or not I want to put them on or not. But that the value for that sports bra is no more than $20. Yeah, there are some very cute bras. The candy wrap sports bra, I definitely enjoyed that one. I think it's beautiful. And I love this light muted pink color. And yeah. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed reviewing this Buff Bunny launch. This collection has been somewhat special. This theme is kind of weird. Boyfriend, it's kind of weird. Don't need a boyfriend to be happy with yourself. But if you have one, I celebrate that. Anyway, enough ranting or whatever. Guys, this is the end of this video and I wanna thank you so very much for watching. If you made it to this point, even better because I think that you are just the awesomest, if that's even a word. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please remember, I am not affiliated with Buff Bunny, not sponsored at all. This is my honest opinion based on the things that i've purchased it's just my authentic opinion and if you like this video please go ahead and give it a like and if you want to subscribe please do so and ring the notifications bell that way you guys could get notified when i upload any more videos whether it is active wear or dresses or maybe even uh, another hair review or something like that on here okay guys so i will see you guys all in the next video Take care. Bye.